Hello world. So I'm back in the garden. And I was down here yesterday for like three and a half hours doing a bunch of planting and there's a lot of changes. The first thing I want to show you is this here. So I don't know if I ever showed you this. This is the cat shelter. I moved it over here and I put my posters here and this is some lilies that are going to be coming up. This purple heart plant that my little sister gave me, I put it here. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to clip it and hang it somewhere else. I'll show you where I plan on putting that in a second. So this little patch, I filled it with a lot more soil so that the bulbs could be better in the ground. And I added some of that um, rose plant food rose and flower plant food so in here i planted my corn i found some things out over there i'll get to that in a second and here i planted my two varieties of corn so there's two of this golden bantam sweet corn and then there's three of the white corn tomatillo tomatillo sweet banana peppers everything is still in the ground and I added more sticks and stuff. This little guy here, oh, I hope it makes it. I hope it makes it. It looks like things are eating them already. But hopefully they survive. I planted one eggplant over there. So over here. What happened in here, in these guys, I took out, so I don't know if you can tell, but all of these are not gonna make it why because the slug was in here eating them there's like slugs baby ones all throughout this thing I have to empty out the dirt and clean them and then put them away so my okra is still in there I'm leaving the okra in there and there's still three Rutgers tomato um tomatoes in there so I'm just going to leave those in there for now. And when it's all set, when I come back to clean this out, then I'll take those three things out. I planted a marigold in here because tomatoes like to be planted together with marigolds. It keeps the pests away and it also does something that it adds to the flavor of the tomato is what I hear. Um, I have beans coming up slowly but surely from there. This is the green bean, and that's the yellow bean. Oh, wait, I wanted to fix these flowers. They're so tall. This is the sweet William. I was calling them Prince William the other day. But look, the flowers are beginning to come up. And this is a perennial, so it'll come up year after year. My lavender is doing fantastic. Let me bring this guy up because with the force of the water. This is the tomatillo. It already has a little flower. So in here, I planted the, the yellow, I mean the lemon cucumber, which is the only cucumber that made it. There's nothing in here, but I planted some uh, macramore cucumber seeds and slicing no Chicago pickling and when they come up I'll move them and keep just one in the pot and I'll move the others elsewhere this is the yellow yellow squash yellow neck squash or whatever it's called this is oh god what is this what is this Oh shit, so I don't know what this is. <laughs> I can't remember what, the, oh, this is the purple cow peas. These are the purple cow peas. Another sweet banana. I put another okra, I mean, another eggplant in there. I can't remember if it's the white one or the other one. And something new is over here. 
so as you could see, I moved the table, the workstation, yet again. Look how nice the fence looks. I had to add more zip ties to the bottom because it started to sag down. So what I did here was I bought four bags of garden soil. Let me use this water. I bought four bags of garden soil. One, two, three, four. And then these here, these are just plastic tablecloths. All of this brown that you see, this is cinnamon powder that I sprinkled all around the perimeter of this to keep the ants away because there was ants here and a natural solution to ants is cinnamon powder. So I put that there so I could keep them away. And in here I planted in one bag my Black Beauty zucchini and another Black Beauty zucchini. And then in these bags I made two holes in each and I put the little fingers eggplant in them. And in this, same thing, one bag, two holes. And this is the white eggplant. It's because I ran out of big pots. I tried this a few years ago, planting stuff directly inside the bag and it worked great. So I said, you know what, let me do that again this year. And so I have more stuff to be planted. I'm gonna get four more. I'll do them here. Like one, two, three, four leave a little opening so I can get in in the middle and harvest and water everything. Or maybe I'll put another one here and the other one there and it'll just be like a half of a rectangle shape. So then these hanging pots that my sister gave me, I'm going to poke holes in the plastic pot inside. And that purple heart over there, the purple heart plants I'll put clippings in there so that they could vine down here and I bring my workstation back over here I put the thing underneath so I can collect my clippings and shit my watering bucket and my tools and those little bins there so the herbs I was growing the dill the basil and the cilantro I put them all in here along with this which is a tomato like a rogue tomato. I have no idea what kind of variety that is. It just came up. And then here and here, this is the atomic grape tomato. And this is the Rutgers tomato. Now that I'm looking in here, this looks like it might be, all of these look like they might be tomatoes. You know what they could be? These could be the black cherry tomatoes that I planted last year. That just, I look at another one right there because I didn't plant black cherry i didn't plant any tomato tomato seeds in any of these pots so these are volunteer tomatoes that are coming up which is exciting my strawberry i also put cinnamon powder all throughout here so keep the ants away and i put the poppy flowers here so that's it those are the changes so far changes and additions to the garden I put all of these shish kebab sticks. I have to get. I had to get more so that the cats, because the cats love jumping in this pot. And then in here, I planted some more of the Wando green peas, because no peas have come up yet. And peas are usually so easy to grow. I don't understand what's going on, but hopefully they come up in this pot. And that's it. Let me fix this. I don't like for my, my things to hang like that. <clears throat> so yeah, this here is just a little solution. If you have no pots. And big pots cost, you know, a lot. And I needed, I would have needed to get like eight of them. So it's a cheaper solution or a cheaper alternative to having to buy pots and dirt you can just plant right in I mean it's not as nice looking but it does the job and I covered them with the black uh, tablecloth because I just felt like it looks uglier when you just can see the bag and the, the tablecloths come in different colors so you could pick whatever colors you want and make it look even nicer than just plain black but yeah everything is looking nice my pinwheels are turning. Oh, this marigold is in distress. 
snapped. I found out today that the marigold leaves are edible. So I'll be trying those in a salad one day. Everything looks so beautiful. Oh, and I planted the little clipping of the sedum in here. In this little spot. Right there. So hopefully that grows out like this guy did. I see little flowers here to be. And that's it. Nothing else to report here. Still no signs of peas. This pea looks like something might be happening. But I don't know for sure. Yeah, if no peas come up here, then I will... One of those tomatoes that I have in those little pots over there. One of those tomatoes. I'll put in here. And that's it garden is coming along nicely i'm so excited for this year's garden oh you know what i forgot to bring down the wind chimes that's something i still have to do so this stick this was the sunflower from last year the big sunflower <laughs> I, I just left it in there because i could use it as support and this little thing tambien i don't know i'll think of something to do there you know, it would have been good to grow like a pea and have it come out this way, but it's too late now because the corn needs space. So the corn, all of these corns aren't going to stay. Only two of them are going to stay. As they get a little bit bigger, I'm going to transplant them into the back of the raised bed so they can grow tall over there. Or I might do holes. I was going to put the eggplants in these holes, but I changed my, I mean, in the ground, but I changed my mind because when I came down here, Again, I forgot to bring my scissor and my cutting tools. So I was like, you know what? I'll find other homes. But it works out because I might just put the corn, you know? Maybe back there. I'll make holes back there and have the corn in the back. Maybe. We'll see what happens. Nothing is set in stone when it comes to the garden plans. Let me give you one last look. I'm so happy with my herb garden and that lemon balm is a showstopper. And I love how the mint went wild. That's what happens with mint. So if you have like a small space and you're doing in-ground gardening, whatever you do, don't plant the mint in the ground because it will like take over everything. The roots from, from mint, they travel underground and then they'll pop up wherever they feel like it. That's why all of this happened. But I'm okay with it because it seems to be contained here. And even if it goes wild and goes any other way, it's fine. Or is it? Because I don't want it coming over here because then it'll take up, you know, the nutrients from these plants. So, yeah, that's it. Until next time. Bye.